Hey everybody, I'm Yato666. Uh, back with SoCalibur 6. Eh, it's it's not bad. I'm just I'm so goddamn tired of tutorials. I wish I miss manuals, goddamn it. I miss them. Give a shit if it's an old time rant. I'm so fucking tired of sitting here. I wanna fight. But at the same time I wanna know how to play the game. Yeah, we're here. God damn, we're only 26 minutes. This fucking tutorial is huge. I don't fucking remember any of it. It's terrible to inundate people with this many things at the beginning of the game, but Guilty Gear does this too. It's alright, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting through it, I'm just saying, I don't like it. I get why they do it. Defense. Master Drone is an asshole. Next lesson will be about the art of defense. This is a tutorial on defense. Thanks, couldn't have gotten that from Trading Defense. The uh, note, explanations, refer, reefer. Reefer, ah. Uh. God damn Beavis and Butthead shirt. Refer to the game's default controls. Condition ejected. The funny, the funny thing is I'm probably reread re -re that a thousand times. I visited the dojo to find Drona at the gate. Seen off another visitor. Can you fuck off hiccups and burps? Alright, here we go. Take care. Bye bye then. And don't oversell the skills you've learned here. Got it? Oh, uh, what the fuck? I, I really wish that was X instead of square. Yes, master. Thank you so much for everything. I promised it one day. I don't know why. Look, one of those boy bands popped into my head. And I swear. <laughs> one day I'll come back to visit. With those parting words, that little son of a bitch never returned. Jonah's student bowed, then began trudging down the mountain path away from the dojo. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> back for more training, are you? Well, come on in. If you did your job in the first fucking place... When I asked about the man who had just left, Master Drone told me he was a student who had come from the desert in the northern reaches of the Ming Empire. On my way home from my romantic defeat at the hands of Hong Yu, romantic defeat? Is that a new way to say he got raped? What just happened? I. I'm, I'm just, I've never heard those words described as a, de a defeat. Uh, a man saved my life in the desert. The student you just saw... The student you saw... What the fuck? The student you just saw... Yeah, it is. The student you just saw came here on that man's recommendation. God damn, this is weird. The desert. To reach India from Sichuan, you have to head southwest. The desert was in the complete opposite direction. Hmm? What's with that perplexed look? Oh, I get it. Training first, talk later. Well, today I'm going to teach you how about guarding and evading. Alright. Hopefully we'll get to fighting soon. I, I bought a fighting game, didn't I? Did I buy a training game? What if they make those? Shut the fuck up. They probably will start making them now that I open my damn mouth. Eh! Oh, it won't let me do anything. You can dodge your opponent's vertical text by moving to the foreground or the background with an eight screen one of the... This can be a great way to avoid taking a lot of damage, as many heavy hits are vertical. So weak. Oh, okay. So weak. What? Oh. Oh, hit your opponent after they miss. So weak. I could've done so that- weak. God damn, I could've done that the whole time! I gotta admit, so this game's weak. pretty badass. I just really wanna get to the good stuff, come on! Evading high attacks! Performing a crouching guard will, will allow you to protect yourself against not only low attack, but also let you dodge high attacks and throws as well, making it an effective evasive maneuver. Whoa. Oh, okay, okay. Just basically, you want me to dick... Dick shot him. What? What's different? What's different? What is different? He's not hitting me. What do you want me to do? I kicked him. I don't know why that didn't... I think you need to update that a little bit. Attacks on the command list are marked with HML, SL, SML... Oh my god. To indicate whether they can be blocked, uh, standing, or crouching. This is fucking weird. High, medium, low, suck my nuts. What the fuck is SM? What 
the fuck is SM? Special middle, okay. And special low, okay. A crouching guard cannot block... Okay, I better read the whole thing. <laughs> to indicate whether they can be blocked with a standing guard or a crouching guard. A standing guard block... Can block all attacks except those marked with L uh, low attacks. A crouching guard cannot block those marked with an M. Oh my god, just fuck off. I'm not reading this. I don't think I'm doing any more tutorials. I'm holding up. What am I doing? I'm... How do I jump? What? I don't get it. Hold up while oh, while guarding. That's fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid. I'm playing jump rope. Who the fuck wanted this? I, I guess it could be pretty cool in, in execution. Oh. Oh, you want a jump attack. Okay. I fucking jump attack, bitch. I fucking what the? F why doesn't he attack in the air? I don't know why he's not attacking in the air. I I could be getting delayed because there's a tray right here and you're under it. Grapple breaks allow you to free yourself from the opponent's grip and avoid taking a great deal of damage. They can be performed by pressing any attack. God damn it! Any attack button. Square triangle circle the moment you're grabbed. Okay. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. What the fuck is this? Why is it different? What? A grapple break can still be performed as you continue to rapidly guard. Nope. To guard rap. <laughs> to guard rapidly by pressing square triangle circle, even while holding X. While doing this, not only can you guard against your opponent's middle attacks, but also avoid being thrown. Making it a defensive technique worth practicing. However, grapple breaks will not work on throws where flames emit from the hands when the opponent is grabbed. What? I'm gonna I'm just button mash. I'm gonna button mash and, and see how far that gets us. Very good, those are the fundamentals on defense. Your lessons after this will be much harder. It's like he's warning me, take a break, walk away. That's what I'm fucking doing. Fuck you. This is redonkulous. Is there anything here? I can't believe I picked the Ivy weapon. I looked for the Keelik one. Did they cut Keelik out? I better not have. The Blades of Fate. I just want to move along. I want to enjoy the story. I fucking forgot what time I started this, didn't I? I must say 440. I have no fucking idea. I opened my eyes to an impossible sight. It, I was floating in a vast space. The ground was nowhere to be seen, and the sky stretched on into infinity. And beyond! God damn it. Ruined chunks of masonry floated nearby. A broken pillar from a temple. He's in fucking ALO. A half-collapsed house. A fallen tower. Adventures. Nope. How did you see that word, brain? Structures of every shape, size, from every corner of the globe. The globe's a circle. At the center of it all was an enormous whirlpool of light. I watched as a colossal building was drawn into it. Bricks ripping from their mortar and accelerating into a brilliant glow. A, a piece of rubble made contact and disappeared in utter silence. It's fucking weird, so I guess because there's no sound where he is. The light captivated me with its beauty, but at the same time it filled my heart with dread. Little by little, that terrible light was drawing me in, struggle as I may, struggle as I might. I could not break free of its inex 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 inexorable? inexorable grasp. Slowly, ever so slowly, the distance between us shrank. Yeah, it's kind of like when you're in, in Ohio and it just feels like it takes forever to just fucking Ohio's flat and pisses me off. Maybe it was destiny for my soul to become entwined with the astral chaos. But I will not submit to destiny and allow myself to be consumed by that bright harbinger of death. I need strength, the strength to defy my fate. What? The light drew near. What the f 
when suddenly two swords appeared before me as I reached out my grasp to the floating blades. Oh, sharp things spinning, let me reach for you. A voice broke the silence. Idiot! No, no, it should be red. You idiot! <laughs> Those who desire strength must make a choice! If you value freedom and wish for the power to pursue your own path, choose the golden sword. <laughs> he peed on it. If you honor the virtues of harmony and reason and wish for the power to bring order to a chaotic world, choose the azure sword. Sword. Reach for the golden, reach for the azure. I wasn't paying attention at all. I think he peed on that one. I'm going for the azure. I don't trust this guy. I grasped the azure sword. Sword. I don't know why I keep like going to Sean Connery. And felt a wave of peace wash over me. My mind tranquil, my senses sharp. I raised the blade high, then struck a swift blow at the swirling light. The scales have soul resonates with the light. Tip toward good. What? Why the fuck would a bad guy What? Uh whatever, you pissed on it. Why would I want to grab it? Whatever. Fucking weirdo. Golden sword. Special choices and the spirit scales. I'm just playing how I feel. I, I'm not going to say it's going to be good or bad. I'm just playing what I feel in that moment in time. During your journey, you will sometimes find yourself faced with momentous decisions that can change your fate. Really? So there's multiple endings to this? These choices affect the game's story and alter the balance of the spirit scales, a mystical artifact that reflects the state of your soul. You may even unlock hidden missions depending on how the scales are tipped. Need my drink. Partners in crime. I fought my nightmare with every fiber of my being. When out of nowhere came a voice, a voice that would lead me back to reality. Reduce your opponent's health below a certain level to win. Oh, that's it? Hey you, you okay? Hunka hunka, okay. Why does he look like Elvis? Was Elvis a fighter? You want to be careful swinging your weapon around like that by yourself. Have you uh, maybe had too many drinks? I'm about to. <laughs> I'm about to. No. <laughs> Barely conscious, I couldn't tell if the nightmare had ended. A shadow of what looked like an enemy waved and wavered in front of me. One that seemed robust, strong, and armed. <laughs> I readied my weapon. My only escape from this nightmare was to fight. Oh shit. Easy there. I'm not looking for, fight for a fight. Well, looks like I got no choice. Super bitch slap and a psh, ah. <laughs> That would be so funny if Maxi did that to my character. Shut up. It would be fucking funny if they did that. They never have fun with these. They always take them kind of too serious. I wonder how long this one is. It sounds like it's going to be pretty goddamn long. Reduce your opponent's health below. So I didn't... Oh, shit. I was reading. Yeah, maybe no... Bitch. Keep thinking X is kick. Damn you, stupid, dead or alive. Now. Fucker. How do I hit? Like, is it square X? Yes. I'm trying to remember how to throw. I knew how to evade throw. Don't say you're throwing too much shit at me, man. Oh, I was gonna come on! I could have beaten the crap out of him. You killed Maxi. No, you can't. <laughs> your, your journey can't end because you needed him later. You back to your senses? <laughs> I beat the shit out of him. It wasn't a nightmare. I'd been fighting for real. When I came to, a friendly yet somewhat ugly-looking man was standing before me. I mean, you beat the crap out of him. He's not gonna look good. The name's Maxi. What, what do you go by? You got brain damage? I just beat the crap out of you. He's like, the name's Maxi. How you doing? I told Maxi my name. Iato666, nice name. Don't worry, I ain't gonna steal all your possessions or anything. <laughs> you know, you've got skills, but as an apology for attacking me out of nowhere, how about listening to what I got to say? It's nothing bad, just a job offer. Walk away. I can never tell where the center of this goddamn vagina is. Shut up. Okay. 
I don't know why I'm so bad at center centering this. I, well, actually, I do know why. It's because I don't... Everyone else has a set. Uh, I, I, there's a couple things I want to say. Everybody else has a set, like a setup that's locked. I don't, because I have different rooms in the house I do this. I actually do, don't just do this in my bedroom, which right now you're in. Uh, <laughs> and then the other thing is, I, I've, I don't know if it's just me or what, but I realize the people that really love doing this, notice they're terrible at saying goodbye. It's something I always thought I always find funny. The ones that have this like set goodbye, eh. But the ones that don't, you can tell they really care. They really like... I don't want to go, but I got shit to do. I, I gotta go. <laughs> I, I, I know, something I noticed I thought was funny. According to Maxi, the residents of a nearby village suddenly vanished one day. At the same time, a mysterious hole formed nearby. So you stuck your penis in it. From which strange creatures had started to emerge, right? You didn't. The village had... The village head believed... The village head... Should it be the head of the village? Yeah, I don't think English is their first language. The village head believed it was these creatures who attacked the village. Jurors. And ordered they be found... ...and exterminated. It's like I'm, I just, I'm having so much trouble reading this for some reason. I know how to handle myself, so I agreed to help. But they wanted me to take care of the whole... ...as well as the creatures. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right when I was thinking I needed some help, I ran into you. The reward's juicier than a rare steak. How about a 50-50 split? Sound? Nope. It's how's a 50 fit split sound? How did I do it? It's, it's me. I don't know how I'm doing it. The mysterious hole sounded a lot like an astral fissure. When I asked Maxie where it was, he pointed the direction I was headed, so I accepted his offer. Alright. Alright then, let's do this, partner. It's also weird to have something you read now. I know this is their last go, I'm just, it's, it's gonna hurt them. With a self-assured grin, I ex he extended his hand. In the spirit of solidarity, I grasped it firmly. Wouldn't the spirit of solidarity mean you'd want to be alone? What? I'm looking up solidarity. I don't think... I don't, what the fuck you talking I thought... Because the word solitaire, like, is almost it. Whatever, I don't know. I don't know what the word means. Not even gonna pretend. Thought I did. What? The campsite. Jason's gonna be here. As someone who had traveled the world, Maxie had a lot of stories to tell on our journey. So in other words, Maxie wouldn't shut the fuck up. Oh my god! All they hear nowadays is crazy talk. To the west of the continent, some lord suddenly went nuts. In another town, there was a massacre that wiped out the entire population. But nobody knows who or what caused it. Even we were attacked once by a bunch of creeps with red eyes. Maxie was the captain of a pirate crew who was venturing around the globe, yet he didn't speak in an aggressive or threatening tone. You know, I forgot to ask. What's giving you the travel bug? Hey, Yato. Wary of saying too much, I mentioned there was something I needed to take care of at the Astral Fissure, created by the Evil Seed. Never heard of it. Some of my crew might know something, though, so I'll ask around. Man, I'm beat. I'm gonna turn in for the day. See you bright and early tomorrow. I guess they're going for that old feel of the campaign in 2? In Soul Calibur 2? Which is weird, because I guess this is a reboot. It's called Soul Calibur 6, but it seems like they're rebooting, so I don't know why they named it 6. Everything about this game is very fucking confusing to me. I'm enjoying it! Don't get me wrong, it's just it's very weird. It's just really weird that like they're, they're, they're starting from the beginning, but they're calling it 6. What the fuck is going on? <gasps> I, I always never know what to say, but there is an exclamation point, so it's... <gasps> Right? I woke up with a splitting headache, the remnants of the nightmare flickering in my head, in my mind. What's up? You were calling out in your sleep. Here, drink up. What the fuck? Are you I thanked Maxie and told him it was nothing. My headache had subsided, but I wasn't going to be getting any more sleep. Why does that go out? Like, <laughs> you have to load drawings. I. I, I'm, li I'm liking this, don't get what's going on. We'll do, yeah, let's do this. We'll do a session, and then we'll do a tutorial each session. And we'll get a little bit further than the tutorial, instead of spending one whole goddamn session on the tutorial. H Harun? I have no idea. During my travels with Maxi, we came across a friendly young man who said he shared the same goal as us in a proposal. And now we have to defeat our opponent. 
So he came to offer help and revert changes. What? I can change stuff? I don't know what the fuck it's talking about. Suddenly I heard a, a voice behind me. <gasps> when I turned, there was a young man standing with a smile on his face. He gave a small nod. <laughs> Greetings, may I assume you're also headed through this forest on a mission to hunt monsters. Yeah, we are. You too? Yes, my name is Hor... Heron. Ho ho Asshole. I heard there were others who'd accepted this mission, so I thought I would introduce myself. I see, I'm Maxi. This is my partner in crime, Ayato. I have a suggestion. How about we join forces? Mole mole! He's got like one mole like right here. You got a beauty mole right there. While I signed up for this mission, my intent was only to save those in trouble. I have no problem with splitting the reward with you guys. Sounds like a plan, but I'm gonna have to test your skills at first. You game? Yes, of course. Let us begin. Oh, okay. We're testing him. By beating the crap out of him and taking his money. We're just testing you, dude. Is your mom single? <laughs> oh, come on. Huh? I don't know what that is. Is that a compass? Because we're not really Battle failing. One. Fight. Oh, god damn it. I thought that was a, this kick button. I keep thinking X is kick. <laughs> they always go into it. And then a kick in the ass. I want to kick him in the ass. Damn it. Good guards, good guards. Oh, come on. Guard! What? He's got the Kalex shit. I, I must have been so tired I missed it. Bitch. Square. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, the fighting's fun. The fighting's good. Now! Now! Oh, Jesus Christ. No? Okay. Just seeing what kind of skills I have. Oh, I tried to... <laughs> I kind of tried to jump rope it. God damn, will you... So, square circle. Okay. Yeah, you just get out of here. Oh, he's only level 5. Oh, I tried to kick him when he was down. Wait, I got devil wings. You think I'm going to be polite in a fight? It's a fight. You'll hear me complain about it, but you're damn right. It's a fight. You'll hear me complain. Oh, why'd you hit me when I was down? But it's still, I'd do it too. <laughs> you win. I must say, your aggressive style is impressive. How else do you fight? You're not so bad yourself. Where'd you pick up those staff skills? A Ling Shing... Shang Su. What? A Ling Shang Su? Shing Su. I don't know. Alongside my brother. To be honest, I thought I'd fare better against you. I'm a little pissed off. Nah, you did good. I feel like it should be me asking you to join forces. Because we beat the crap out of him? What the fuck are you talking? You're, you're right, you're with me, right, Yato? No, I have no idea what the hell- I'd be sitting there going- I have no idea how to fucking got to that. What's different? Oh, I, I get it. Nod, shake your head, okay. I always do the opposite, so this confused me. Like, if you ask me something and, and, and I'm supposed to say yes, I'm like, yes, no. I always do that, ever since I saw that on a TV show. Goddamn David Spade. Nod or shake your head, nod or shake your head. I've completely forgotten what the hell we're even doing. Sure. Yeah, I would've thought the same thing, yeah, whatever. Then it's settled. Horseface, you're on the team. Welcome aboard. Thank you. As a sign of our new friendship, how about one of... Ling Shang Su's famous cakes. No one should fight on an empty stomach. Uh, deal in. Deal me in. Come on, Ayato, dig in. Oh, I didn't agree to this shit. You both have been poisoned. <laughs> Moon cake. What the fuck? You acquire some food. Food may have different effects on... Food has many different effects on missions and can carry you to victory in battle. 
Before a mission, pressing square, select food, will let you choose which food to use. Be sure to eat heartily while on missions. What? Where do you fucking see food? I hit square and I don't see... Square- oh, okay, here. You hit square. There, I've got the cake. It's got health recovery every 1.5 seconds. Oh, it's like a handicap. A group of- it's in our favor. It's a, it's a modifier. A group of men stood blocking our path. They claimed to be part of an organization called the Assholes. And cleared the qualifiers. And we're clearly not here to make friends. Reward is questionable. Awesome! I didn't know you could change weapons. What the hell would the Keelik one be called? God damn it, because the game is about Keelik, right? You fuckers. I kind of want to see how good the Witcher is. What does it say? Oh, this doesn't tell you what difficulty level they are. I guess we'll learn Ivy. For now, let's go. Oh, never fight on Imp. On EMP, because they don't check to see that you can fit it all in there. Who's gonna hit the PS4 button? Go! Oh! I don't. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. Stop right there! What are you doing here? We qualifiers watch over the area ahead. You have one eye. Those without <laughs> those without permission to proceed will be turned away. Qualifiers? I've heard the name from some rumors going around recently. Something about shaving humanity. You gotta make it up. You gotta fuck with them. Quit babbling and get out of our, get out of here already. We're only here to hunt monsters. If you share the same mission, it would benefit us all to work to... Booge! You think I was born yesterday? You're just trying to get to the Astral Fissure. That's Lord Aswell's... His name is almost Aswell. I can't help notice the things I notice, and I'll be damned if you get in his way. <gasps> An astral fissure? Isn't that the thing you were talking about, Ayato? I knew it! Daniel, these ruffians are trying to disrupt Lord Aswell's plan. <laughs> we should kill them before he arrives. Yes. Enraged, the man readies his weapon. Hold it, Faltro. He would hate us to fight other people. The man let out a deep sigh and with his blade pointed at us and continued to talk. We don't want any trouble, just leave. It's for all of our sakes, if you get me. You know what I'm saying? You remind me of... Maybe, yeah, maybe like a Residence of Fate character. It looks like they're not budging. Heh, <laughs> that just means we can skip to the good bit. Quit whispering, I, Valtro, will slay all those who said in Lord of Aswell's... <laughs> Lord Aswell's way. I, that's the what I, I'm doing what I see. I don't care. You should have known what you were doing when you named it Fisher. Fisher. Oh my god. Watch me be the only person blocked <laughs> on this playthrough. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you shithead. Is there actually anyone that... Other than, like, dead or alive, is there anyone that really, like, replays story modes over and over? Because I don't really. Motherfucker, I wanted to hit you with that. <laughs> he fell for that shit. I thought it was going to be multiple guys. That's what she said. Uh-oh. That was weird. Skip. It may not load as fast for you, by the way. This is a PS4 Pro with a SSDD. Because I'm a nerd and once in my life I wanted to try it. Let me tell you, don't do it. Don't do it. Once you do it, you can't not do it. You, you just have to always have one. It's so annoying when I have to go to my other hard drives now. God damn, this thing is so fucking fast. I love it. It loads so fast, it breaks some games. I love it, dude. It's so funny. I think it's better if we stand down. Voltro, let's go. Damn you to hell! Next time we meet, you won't escape my blade. 
Going by what they said, it would seem that Lord Aswell hasn't arrived yet. He's probably having issues. Let's head over before things get start to get messy. I want to hear that when we're going towards a fissure. Huh? The story is so... What the fuck? I couldn't read that. I got a kaleidoscope? What the fuck? I hope I get a light bright next one. To equip weapons you've gathered a crap Yeah, I, I figured that out. New weapons have new benefits, such as improved attack power, critical rate, and bonuses. Use every tool in your arsenal to overcome the foes who stand in your path. Ooh, somebody thinks they made a really challenging mode here. Weapons you acquire have level restrictions. You cannot equip weapons that have a higher level than your character. To equip stronger weapons, you will need to raise your character's level by completing missions. Some food and weapons come with bonuses that might help you in battle, such as combo damage plus 10 and health plus 10. It's all, it's cool. It's like I get a fighting game and also get to do taxes. So many goddamn tutorials. Some bonuses require that certain conditions be met to activate them. These conditions are written in blue. Examples of bonus activation co conditions. Coordinations. On GI, when a guard impact hits. On SC, when soul charge is activated during soul charge, while, while the soul charge, duh. On CE, when, when the critical edge hits. On RE, when a reversal edge is launched. On RE, when a reversal edge hits. Obviously, when the follow up attack. Okay. It's all self explanatory. Sorry if I'm burping here. I'm trying so hard not to. A natural fissure was waiting for us when we reached our destination. I had to take care of it. And the evil, it spawned quickly. Ah, the power surging from the. I've been watching way too goddamn much South Park. I hope you guys are at least having fun, because I can't not see it. I can't not see it. The power surging from the deep fissure <laughs> pressed, oppressed the entire area, even swallowing up the surrounding area. That... <laughs> that is the hole they were... Wait, that is the hole they were talking about? Give me a break. That ain't just any hole. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? How troubling. It certainly is beyond our ability to handle. Hey, partner, is that what you're looking for? I nodded. Maxi shook his head in resignation. Sounds like the rumors about monsters appearing were true. What the fuck? With a burst of light, a warrior appeared from the astral fissure. It let out an earth-shaking roar as it readied its weapon. <laughs> Great, I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Why does everybody just want to see Guar? I just feel like we're killing the remaining Guar fans. It's fucked up, man. Guar. God damn. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing the Beavis and Butthead shirt. I I have a good memory, and it sucks. I also own this stuff, too, so. Because I like watching Beavis and Butthead, all right? Yeah, okay. Battle one. Fight. Two. And. Oh. Turn around. Turn around. I want to kick you in the ass. Turn around. Now do it. Okay. Boop, boop. Yeah, little motherfucker, you are the first one that won. I can see this game getting nuts. Okay, I can see this getting pretty goddamn difficult. Two. Eh, what? I wanted to kick him. Weak. Okay, that would be kind of hot watching Ivy do. Is that what this is? You're just like... I guess it makes sense. You can't deal with all your own moves or you'd be overpowered as fuck. It's the only way they can control how like... Yeah, I got you. Okay. Okay, that even confused me. <laughs> I did the move. I was like, uh... <laughs> Stop it! I 
keep thinking X is a button. God damn it. Fuckhead. I want to kick them when they're down. Stop ending like that. I don't know. We might go part way. And then to reward... Because I like to think about the people that are actually taking the time to watch this and share this with me. To reward you, we might go back into the other side and check out the other story mode first and then go back to this, but we'll never change parts. We'll just... Because some people are only going to come in to check out a few minutes to go, Oh, I'm sold. And they're going to go get the game. And that's fine. But I'm trying to actually share stuff with people, so... I figure I'll try to reward people, because this could get pretty dull. I'm trying what I can, but... This isn't, like, stuff you really think about. How can you add bits to it, you know? I'll see what I can do. I don't know what I can really do to this. The fallen warrior burst into light that soon faded. Well done. Jeez, what was that all about? The creature appeared to be human, but it left no trace of its existence, as though it were a phantom. I'm pretty sure the marks on my body count as traces. Okay, so what What about this hole? Unzip. Staring into the seemingly eternal blackness, I thrust both my hands into the fissure. <laughs> ah! And that's all they heard. Oh, that would be so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble with this game. Hey, what you doing? I think you just stuck your hand up God's butthole. The hole just vanished. <laughs> it scared it. What the hell did you do? I told Maxi and Horseface everything. After a long pause, Maxi gave a slight nod. <laughs> okay, well I got no reason to doubt you after what I just saw. Agreed, I've seen some bizarre things in my life, but nothing like that. How you feeling? Smell my hands. The mission's done, so you may as well rest up here. I checked to see if the road is safe. That's what it says. Yeah, this is weird. While I checked the road, okay. There was no pause. I don't know why I paused there. I'll go replenish our water supply, Ayato. Some sweet should help you perk up. Help yourself. Uh, it's just gonna go straight to my thighs. No, don't, no, don't, don't eat that. Your soul surges in your body. My God, level five, six. What? But I didn't do anything. Okay, what are you doing? That'd be so fucking funny if the game glitched <laughs> and I just level up 45 levels and people be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm the only place. That would be awesome. G and Wheat Sweets. The Man in Black. Oh my god, we're going to beat up Will Smith? I was resting after absorbing the Astral Fissure when I heard... When I heard footsteps approaching, moments later, a group of people dressed in black appeared. Oh, uh, eh. The astral fissure is gone, and I think I spy the culprit. What happened here? He's wearing like a black eye patch, but nothing else is black. You, you see this, right? Like, where's the black? Dude, where's the black? They have, they have black eye patches. It's... <laughs> Call them the men in patches. I do not know. However, something feels off. Woman with intense gaze. Because you have to blank less. It may be something in their possession. We must deal with this at once. Men in black. Oh, man in black. You stay back. Uh, eh. As the man in black readied the weapon, a chill ran down my spine, and I felt a rush of bloodlust. So, did he just say he got like a chill and a boner at the same time? He's like... <laughs> I don't know how to make that face. I do not know what you are, but I know what you possess. And that is unnatural power. I, I, I made it work. Show it to me if you dare. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, well, I'm trying to have fun here. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I might go to the story mode, see where everything is going and what these people even are. Plus, I, I don't know, I... I agree with you, this is fine, but... This was fine back in the day. I don't know if this is acceptable anymore. When you've got... I'm sorry, like, I... I hate to be that guy, but when you've got games like Divinity that have millions, literally millions of lines of dialogue acted, I don't know if this is acceptable anymore. 
before it was a restraint but i do know they had they had a budget and they were limited on making this and i want soul Calibur to stay around so i'm gonna try mm. come on now do it no do the other move this that wasn't the move i wanted to do the one i want to do is this yeah okay Button pressing is the way to go, bitch. <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't know why he dropped his guard. It was so obvious what I was doing. <laughs> Not bad. <gasps> the man relaxed his stance and put away his weapon, causing a stir amongst his allies. Are you certain? When are you saving? Tan man? Is it really wise to let an outsider get away? I have obtained all the information I need. Why'd you attack me, bitch? Do you not see what has become of you? Don't you fucking get smart with me, one eye. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Fall back. Sir. Sir. Maxie ran over and stared hard at me before speaking. What? <laughs> you okay? What was their deal? And what was with that weird getup? Horseface returned and also realized something was wrong. I found some water. Nay! But something did happen. Did something happen while I was gone? Yeah, Ayato was attacked by some freaky group. A freaky group? Like, like bandits? They didn't look like bandits. Well, at least everyone's safe. I think our way ahead's safe, but we should stay alert. Those freaks could come back. Did you save here? How do I know? Next. You acquired museum story, so crime. Got the fuck, what? I hope they have exhibition mode. That's like my favorite. Seriously. Oh, there it is. Okay. Up oh, the astral fisher's beckon. <laughs> Trophy earned. The astral fisher's beckon. I stuck my, my shit up in that, and now it wants more. It's beckoning me. This is so weird. Greetings and farewells. Both greetings and farewells were to be found in Darka. Where are Maxie's... Where Maxie's employer awaited us. What? What, he used to work here? What are you talking about? Forgive me, but this is where I must take my leave. Oh, thank God. Wait, I, I get it. I think they're going for the old school feel, but the problem is you're in a new generation, so they're not getting them what you're doing. So they're probably like... I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about this. I like it because it caters to me who played Soul Calibur 2. I started at 2. Or would it be 3? Because there would be Soul Calibur than Soul Calibur. I guess I started at Soul Calibur 2. Because Soul Blade was the first fucking game. I never played that one. Just like I never played the first Dead or Alive. Forgive me, but I didn't take it yet. Okay. Had to catch that up in my mind, sorry. Where are you off to in such a rush? I have heard rumors of strange happenings in my hometown of Yangguang. Yangguang. My brother is still there, and I worry for his safety. Nay, I must go. That's too bad, I get it. It's been shot it's been short, but a whole lot of fun. Take care. Bye bye then. A safe journey to you too. Farewell. With a bright smile and a small bow, horse face left. Good. Yado, I have to report to my employer. You go and wait by my ship. Head to the docks where you can't miss it. I'll give you a cut of your reward. Else, well, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. I'll give you a cut of the reward. There. All right. See you then. It's like all the burps come up when I'm trying not to fucking do them. Man from Max's crew. Huh? Who the fuck? What you want? Tell them you came here to crush Maxi. I would. <laughs> That's fucked up. Tell them Maxi said to wait for him here. I believe you not. What's going on? Wake up. Oh, hey, Kyom. This weirdo just turned up. Says he's got business with Maxi. That's so. Guess that means Maxi trusts him. 
Looks that way. If the captain likes you, you must be pretty tough. So how about you show us how tough? Oh my god. Do 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 do. Playing so much stuff tonight. I can't wait. I hope you guys are having fun. Even if you're not watching this, I hope you're out playing these awesome games. Yeah, this is a weird one, man. Like it's it's hard to understand what they're going for because usually you're aiming to you know get it get the new generation. They're not going to understand what you're doing here. They're going to wonder why there's no voice acting. And, I don't know. I don't know. Said it's good. It's fun. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where do I... Can I get that weapon? I want it. Oh, maybe that's the beauty of it. That's where you get actual original weapons. You fight for them. Okay. I want that. I want that. I want that. Oh, I should have hit something else. I don't really understand the system yet. I'll get it. I'm thinking I'll, uh, I'll practice in my own time as well. We'll we'll do some of the tutorial together, but then I'll practice in my own time before I hit start on the camera. How many are there? Crew of three? No, I wanted to grab him and give him a hug. Yeah. And whoop. Yeah, they made it sound real easy. There we go. Let's say it's really hard to fucking dodge him. Mid combat. Fucking fast. Maybe this should be a 60 frame per second upload. So you could see how fast this game is. One thirty style points. Huh. Like Kudos and fucking Project Gotham? They have it in a fighting game? That's an interesting idea. Maxi and his crew. That was a fine show, matey. Hey, I'm back. Where's the warm welcome for your captain? Welcome back, brother. You had us you had us all worried. What's the story with this land lover? This crew is my savior. We gotta thank Ayato here for making our making sure our employer's happy. What I say about looking before you leap, Maxie? Remember what happened last time? Oh, shut the fuck up. It all worked out in the end, didn't it? Harsh words aside, Kyom didn't really seem angry. He must be used to how stupid Maxi is. No, he must be used to Maxi's flights of fancy by now. So you know, my crew's my family. They look rough, but they're a good bunch. Yeah, they tried to fucking kill me. <sighs> you said you were looking for a thing in, um... An astral fissure. <laughs> fissure, a man of my word, I'll help you. I don't understand how you can talk about this in front of people and not get a laugh. Am I the only one in the world that's... If <laughs> if I start watching others plays, other Let's Plays that no one else sees, it's gonna be so mad. It's cause of goddamn The Office that fucking Kevin had <laughs> that health meeting. Like, oh my god. Whatever. I don't care. I see what I see. There you go again. Leaping before you go looking. The funny thing is, half the people that are watching this probably have no idea what the fucking ass fi an anal fisher is. Ah, so what's this astral fish <laughs> fisher business, anyways? I'll tell you once everybody's here. I need the whole crew on board with this. Here's your share of the bounty, by the way. Maxi handed me a bag of gold coins. And a piece of trident gum. It's gonna take a while to get ready, so do what you have to in that time. This town's got a lot of shops and some great places to eat. Why not check them out? Okay. Did I just get rewarded for talking? What the hell just happened? Shops. You can now access shops in Dhaka, where you can buy goods and exchange currency. General shop, exchange gold for food and weapons. Currency exchange, exchange gold and Soul Calibur 6 is universal currency, soul points. Soul Calibur 6 is two types of currency, gold and soul points. Gold is saved in an individual Libra of soul data slots and cannot be used in other modes. You can get more from the currency exchange as needed. Gold is used only in the Libra of Soul. Soul Points, the universal uh, currency for Soul Calibur 6, is used to unlock features in the museum, etc. Speaking of, I want to take a look at that. Yeah, we're getting near the end. Well, I'm going to check out the, uh, the, the museum. You've been unlocking a lot of shit and I can't keep up.
Alright, you got portraits. None of them seem... Hidden records. What the fuck? It's like we're gonna do a readables on this series. Shit! I mean, you go, what? What is this? Cutscenes? Are you serious? From all the game? No way. That would be cool as shit! How much do I need? Are you sure you want to unlock it? It costs fifteen fifty. Spit all over your. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Combat lessons, music, tips. I don't see it. I hope they still have the exhibition theaters. I wonder what that is. Is that all the? Mo that would be awesome. Cause I haven't played so many of them. I guess let's continue a little bit more here, and then we'll end it. And then, like I said, I think we'll start the story on the next one, just for you guys being patient. And we'll fuck with this later. Because I want to see the main story. I want to see stuff I don't have to read right now. What? I'm still in the fucking... What? Where am I? Oh, that's why. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? We're here. We're not here. I'm not understanding what's going on. Did you not save? Uh... Transcending history and the world. A tale of souls and swords. What the fuck is going on? Did I go to the story? What's going on? <laughs> what's going happen? Okay, I fucked up here somewhere. Uh, return. What the hell am I doing here? Circle, circle. What did I do? Oh, no. Yeah, I did. I went to the story mode, you dumb shit. Okay. That's why. Wow, this must be fucking gigantic if they really expect you to do all this. Because it looks like they're expecting me to continuously con keep coming back. Like, there must be a lot to this. Currency exchange, check out the shop. So I'm level 4, so I can get any of this stuff. Wolven Steel and Sword. This sucks, I don't actually know what they are until I buy them. Okay, Mitsurugi, Taki, Maxi, Valdo. Oh, they do have Kalik! Kalik! Give me that! Give me that! Okay, items. What the hell is this? 20% health recovered at start of round. Soul gauge increased by 30. Encounter rate negative 25. Encounter rate plus 25. It's like the same stuff that was... Oh, okay. Oh, some is food and some is other. Okay. Gotcha. I was like, it didn't make any sense to me. That's a currency exchange? Oh wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, what's family? A city of trade and commerce located a short distance upriver from the harbor. It wasn't that well known that among tra what the f it wasn't that well known yet amongst travelers, but it was starting to carve a name for itself as a key point on the east slash west trade routes. East to west trade routes. I wandered aimlessly through crowded streets where the hustle and bustle seemed to never cease. You kind of sound like you're heading to Cheers. You visit the market, head to the trading house, return to the docks. Head to the trading house. On the way to the trading house, an old man approached me. Give me a dollar! Oh, what? It's him. You hear about him qualifiers, kid? The qualifiers? They were the people I encountered by the astral fissure. I nodded, and the man began to speak with a... Growing excitement. Them qualifiers be traveling around and, and doing good deeds, you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? They fight demons, cure the sick, and do so performing miracles whenever wherever they go. Oh, and do be. And do be. Their leader's a right charitable person. Help anyone, doesn't matter who. Them qualifiers be a shining light and the world be getting gloomier day by day. Whatever. <laughs> he slightly smiled, I didn't even know it could do that. So I do be gathering donations to support him. How much you gonna be de donating to the cause? 
The old man held out his hand, but I had to disappoint him. <laughs> I didn't think too kindly about the qualifiers. There you are. Been looking for you. Captain's got something you'll want to hear. I nodded, and Maxi Cruz members and I left together. Oi, where are you going? I ain't finished. <laughs> Oi, dickhead. You heard, old Yang Gong? It's important Ming. Oh, you heard oh, you heard of, fucker. Recently, no one's been able to get in or out of the port there, I heard. The info came from a reliable source. They say the place is covered in a red mist, and it might have had something to do with an epidemic or something. Been a lot of trouble with crime there, too. Horseface said something strange was going down there. Judging by what we found out, there's a good chance that an actual fishers appeared there, too. Alright. Horseface, he, he was probably heading for straight for a maelstrom. The thought chilled me to the bone. We'll take to Yangguang, if you like, quicker than going by land. I gratefully accepted Maxi's offer. offer. Off, once preparations were complete, we were to meet at the ship. Preparation H. It is cool that it does it this way, like it's, it's letting you create videos or so. It's really weird that they're giving me so many breaks. You can now explore different areas along the main route of your journey. Through exploration, you can discover missions, gain levels, and collect weapons to make your character stronger. How to explore. Choose explore, and then explore. I, I'm not even reading that. You may be attacked by enemies on your way to destinations. You will not automatically heal while traveling, so be... So efficient use of weapons and food is essential. If you are defeated, exploration will end, and all expenses will be deducted, and you will return to the area you started from. Remember to keep an eye on your health. Jesus Christ. In Libra of Soul, there are numerous kinds of missions you can take on. Story missions, these are the main ones that revolve around the story and others. In these missions, you will meet and battle against many different people. Of the missions that require you to fight, these are categories by story or quest. Categorized by story or quest. And they can be played again from the player menu. However, once you've completed these missions once, each subsequent completion will only award gold. Okay. Alright, that's going to do it for us on this one, guys. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be checking out the other one. I think so. And we're just going to stick to the story mode, enjoy it. If it's not voice acted, I don't care. I'm going to enjoy this, but I am still enjoying this game. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I hope I hope it does well, man. I did, by the way, get the season pass, so if any of you are fans or curious, if anything is worth it, hang here, and I will be as honest as I can and tell you what I think. I love fighting games, but I will be truthful with you. I haven't played a Soul Calibur since fucking 2. Soul Calibur 2, so... I, we may not agree or see eye to eye. I thought it was the best one. I looked at the trailers of others. I, I might have played bits of them, but two was my favorite. I love the exhibition theater. I love everything in that fucking game. It had this awesome. It was just like this. Uh, extra. What the hell you would call it back then? But it's just a. Back then it was just an extra mode where you could do side quests and stuff. Here it's for your custom fighter, but it was awesome, and it does remind me of that. It's just hard to to say get this over all the games that have voice actors and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I do like it, so we'll see what's up. I'm just trying to be truthful here. The, the problem is, there's so many great games now. So, thank you for watching, guys. I'm Yato666, and I hope I see you in the next one. Peace.